Nobody picks a jawbone if you can find a spear or a knife or a bow and arrow. The only reason you pick a jawbone is because you don't have anything else to work with. It's not necessarily what is desired, but it is what is available. And there are some of you that you feel like you have been in the fight of your life and you have been outnumbered at times. It felt like hundreds or a thousand to one. And at the same time, you have continued to fight even with something that felt insufficient. It was as though it wasn't enough. It was as though it wasn't something that you were even going to be effective with. But because the spirit of God came upon you and the power of God came upon you, you have been able to prevail and you have been able to maintain and you have been able to advance And it's not because of what was in your hand, but it was because God's hand was on your hand. And and so I would like to commend you for fighting. But man, I'm thirsty. And I just think that there's a lot of people that if they were to be truly transparent, they are thirsty. They're, They're thirsty despite the fact that there has been... A victory. They're thirsty to fight despite the fact that they've prevailed in places maybe where they weren't even expected to prevail. But, but it's been a while since you really had a drink of the spirit like you feel like you truly need. Because when you look around, it's like everything is dry and everything is dead and everything is hollow and everything is empty. And you're like, man, I'm really grateful for the victory and I'm really grateful for the success and I'm really grateful that I'm still standing and I'm really grateful that I survived the fact that a thousand fell at my left hand and 10,000 fell at my right hand. But if I'm honest, I'm tired. If I'm honest, I'm exhausted. If I'm honest, I'm thirsty. And I think that that scenario describes a lot of people coming into 2022. God, I'm thirsty. God, I'm so thirsty. I'm so internally dehydrated that if you don't do something for me, I'm not going to survive. And scripture says that in the middle of this, the the ground, this hollow place, this empty place in the ground broke forth and all of a sudden water began to gush out. And scripture literally says that he drank from it and he was revived. And it's amazing to me that the revival came from an empty place, that the revival came from a hollow place. That the revival came from a dry place, a wilderness place, a desert place. It it came from a place you wouldn't expect it. And I feel like maybe there's somebody that needs to know that you cannot disqualify where the revival is going to come from. You can't disqualify the fact that it may come from a place that you don't expect it. It may come from a hollow place, an empty place, because God allows the thirst to remind you that the jawbone only worked because of him. And I think sometimes we we can become successful and we can do things of significance and we can move from one level to the next level and, and we can have some victories. And if we're not careful, we start thinking that we're really good at the fight. And we're pretty good with this jawbone in our hand. And we're pretty good at taking nothing and turning it into something. But, but then when you get thirsty, you're reminded, oh, wait a second. The only reason I was able to do that with that jawbone is because I shook myself and the power of God came upon me even when I didn't deserve it. And so you get thirsty in the physical to remind you that it was God that did it in the spiritual. And it drives you back. What's the donkey doing dead out there? Why did the donkey die out there? I'll tell you why the donkey died out there, because he wouldn't listen to nothing. And he broke free from something that was trying to hold him back from his demise. And he got loose in the middle of nowhere with no provision and no sustenance, and it cost him his life. And God is trying to get through to Samson. You keep breaking loose. You keep going into areas you're not supposed to be in, hanging out with people you're not supposed to be hanging out with. Samson, you are on a downward spiral. Samson, your life is in a mess. Samson, again, you've looked up and you are outnumbered and you are surrounded. But Samson, I honor your mom and daddy's prayers because you ain't got enough sense to pray for yourself. So shake yourself. And watch me get you out of this. And so Samson's mom and dad's prayers come through for him. 
and he is delivered in this situation. But at the same time, he, he, he comes to the other side of it and now he is thirsty. And it's like God is about to use this situation where stubborn things go to die to get Samson's attention. You're going to need me if you're going to be sustained. You're going to need me if you're going to survive. You're going to need me if you're going to ever feel strong again. You're going to need me if you're going to feel mighty enough to face tomorrow even though you were victorious today. Hey, Samson. I know that you're used to me bailing you out, but you're going to need a personal prayer life with me if we're going to get through this thing. Hey, Samson, wake yourself up and watch me. Watch me. I, I, I'm sorry. I felt like preaching just for a moment. I, you know what God wants to do? God wants to visit the stubborn places in your life. The Bible says stubbornness is like idolatry. That's why God won't stand for it. Because you elevate self above his presence. God wants to visit the stubborn places in your life. And for some of us, that's our job. Oh, I'll just, I'll just move on. And he wants to break some things. Not for our bad, but for our good. And he wants to bring a refreshing out of our life and into our life to where that we've not just got victory on the outside. We got refreshing on the inside. And it's one thing to celebrate all these things you've been victorious about and are over that are on the outside, but it's time to get some victory on the inside. Can I get a witness from somebody on a Sunday morning? It is time to get some victory on the inside. So, so I, I, don't, I don't know 